curves tool. It is a fundamental technique in color grading, which is used to modify the contrast and color balance of a video. If you learn to adjust this tool, you can color grade any video. So what's up guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel and today I will teach you how to adjust curve tool or you can say graph in CapCut. Before starting tutorial, you can follow me in Instagram. You can also ask any question. I will try to reply everyone question. At first, I will teach you the basic knowledge about curves. First, you need to know the curves line correctly. The button part will work for the black areas of your footage. And upper button part will work for the shadows. The middle part will work for the mid-tone. And upper middle part will work for the highlights. And last, the top part will work for the white areas on your footage. After that, it's time for RGB, the color adjustment. R is for red, G is for green and B is for blue adjustment. These are primary digital colors. You can get any digital color on your video by adjusting these curves. If you decrease the red curves, you will get cyan color. Then if you decrease the green curves, you will get the magenta color. And if you decrease the blue curves, you will get the yellow color. These curves are also called parametric curves because these curves are so sensitive. Little movement in these curves can occur fast movement in adjustment. So you have to move slowly and do not play too much with these curves. Now it's time to do practically. First end one video that you want to adjust. Then go to adjustment option and after that click on graph option. And here it is the exciting part. At first I had added 3 points for shadows, midtone and highlight. Black and white points had already pointed. After that I increase shadow slowly and decrease highlight little bit. Again I increase white parts of the footage and decrease the black parts. These curves are also called as curve. You can also adjust this graph according to your video. It will work same for RGB adjustment. If you increase white point from the R graph, it will change the white area of footage into red. And if you adjust shadow point from the R graph, the shadow will turn into red. It is same for all RGB. After that, I added one point in the middle part of the red graph. I increase from the white point. It will change the white part of the footage into the red part. After that, it's time for green graph. I added one point in mid-tone and decrease from white point. It look like magenta color. You can add extra points if it's needed, but do not play more with this graph. After that, at last it's time for blue graph. I had adjusted same as green graph and it look like this. After adjusting graph, you can add extra adjustment if you need it. After adjusting everything, export it with high quality. Here you can see the result before and after.